All right, so here I've got my special helper, my oldest son, Tiberius. Say hi. Hi. Um, he's gonna help me, he's gonna film uh, while I put this stuff together, and then he's gonna help me plant some stuff. Plant those tomatoes and peppers and stuff when they're ready? Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna hand it over to Tiberius, and he's gonna film, uh, film us making one of these. Okay, so you can see it right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just try and get everything in view. How does it look? Good. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna mark and drill our drain hole. So I'm gonna make it kind of uniform um, <clears throat> on all the other ones. Uh, you don't have to be as OCD as I'm gonna be here, um, but I did it under the U in supply, right there where it says tractorsupply.com. Again, you might have a different barrel. So I went, so I've got three inch um, perforated tubing. So what you want is to have your drain hole slightly lower than that. Um, so that you have a little air gap in between your water and your soil. Okay, so I went two and five eighths. And again, I put it right under the U. Okay, so we mark it. And I would recommend just taking all your buckets, however many you have, if it's one, if it's five, 10, 20, mark them all, drill them all, and kind of work this thing systematically. Um, I'm just gonna show you what I did and then I'll kind of jump into it and uh, do the rest of it. So like I said, doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be exact. Drill your hole, boom. Easy as that, you got a drain hole. So then we go through and we do that on all the buckets, which we'll do now. Okay, so we got all of our drain holes drilled. I uh, got those at two and five eighths inches in all the buckets. Come back. We'll come back to the buckets here in a minute. Um, <clears throat> I've got my perforated tubing. We've got that three inch perforated tubing. Um, I need to cut this into little sections so that I can fit two side by side in the bucket. Um, so that means I'm gonna cut these at eight inches long. So I'm gonna grab my marker, grab my tape measure. I'm gonna do it on this green line so that it's a little bit easier to see. But every eight inch increment, we're gonna go through and we're gonna mark this thing. Mark it all the way down um, so that we're ready to go. Okay, once you've got it all marked. How'd you mark it? Why is it red? It's just the way that the color works out from uh, the blue pen onto that particular material. So you get that cut, you get everything out of the way so that you got some room to play. Now I start this process with the circular saw, um, but I don't finish it with the circular saw. If I try and cut this all the way through with the circular saw, it kind of snaps it and it'll shoot off and it's just kind of breaks into shards, which is not ideal. So I started with the circular saw, and then I finished with the reciprocating saw. I tried it both ways, doing it all with the circular, and it was a little sketchy. Um, it just took a really long time with the reciprocating saw. So I started with the circular, moved the reciprocating. You can really use anything. You can use a hand saw, you could use a, a Dremel, you could use an angle grinder, you could use anything that you can think of that can cut through plastic. It's really not that thick. So I would recommend some eye protection. Um, I don't have any at the property, so that's on me. Um, so, pa, here we go. I'm getting tired. My hands are getting tired. You're doing great. I'm gonna do just one and two of these and then you're all done, okay? Okay. So, come over around this way, bud. There. So you can see, I kind of get it set up. <clears throat> Don't stand on that. And then I'm gonna get it started with the circular saw. Okay, so I take it nice and slow. Don't try and jam it on there or you're gonna pop that thing. It's gonna snap and it's no good. Uh, so you can see, I got that little guy there. So ideally what you would do is run through the whole length of the uh, tube there. I'm just gonna do one, just so I can show you real quick. Um, okay, so I got my two pieces started there. Uh, then I'm gonna switch over to my reciprocating saw. Come along this way, bud. I'm gonna swap sides here. Right here? Right Come here? Over on this side of the table. Right behind me here. Right here? Yep. Here. Go right here and film this way. Right so, 
Once I hit it with the circular saw, I'll grab the reciprocating saw, kind of just hold it on the edge of the table. If you have a vise or something, you can use that. Um, but basically, I'm gonna finish it off with this. And my battery died, one sec. Always have extra batteries ready to go. All right. There's one. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be pretty. Uh, they just have to be the size you need them. There you go. There's two of them. Once you get those two, you're going to grab your bucket with your drain hole already drilled in it. You looking, bud? Move. Move. Move back, buddy. Okay, we're going to take them side by side, and they go in the bucket. Easy as that. Okay, what I like to do is kind of turn them so that you've got the one kind of straight facing the hole there. Um, you can clean up those holes to get the burrs and stuff off of them if you want. But yeah, that's about it. So that's gonna be the reservoir uh, for the water down there. So it's gonna leave space for the water to sit in the bottom, a little bit of air space, and then some space in the middle and the sides for the soil that's sitting in the landscape fabric to kind of soak down into the water and allow, the, allow it to wick up. So that's that. Anyways, um, so that's one of them. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest, fill it up, and, uh, and then we'll take you to the next step. Okay, so we got uh, the rest of them done. Um, so we got our five gallon bucket, we got the drill, the whole drain hole drilled. You can hopefully see it right down there, right there. Um, we've got the three inch diameter drain pipes cut to uh, roughly eight inches, two of them per bucket. And then we're on to the next step. Uh, I will do the electrical conduit next, the uh, fill tube. So we'll get into that. Okay, so next step, we got to get our fill tube in there. And like I said, I'm using Schedule 40 um, electrical conduit. Um, got it, you know, big box stores, whatever you can find it anywhere. You can really use anything. This happened to be three quarter. A um, little bit thicker might be better to fill up, but I'll let you decide. Um, or I'll do a video, video after we get these done and tell you how wonderful or awful it is. Anyways, um, these are going to sit in the bucket and allow us to fill the bottom reservoir from the outside, basically, to allow a reservoir in the bottom so that water can wick up. Um, so for these particular buckets, these five gallon buckets, I'm going to make these about 15 and a half inches. Um, and then I'm going to put a 45 degree cut on one of them, um, the end that's going to go into the bucket so that you don't have just a flat surface sitting on a flat surface and having the water overflow up your um, fill tube, not what you want. So I'm gonna measure 15 and a half inches on each of these. Um, and then again, if you've got a bunch you're doing, measure, 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 then cut, cut, cut. Um, I'm just gonna do one, show you, and then we'll uh, do the rest. So I wanna spill the coffee. Lay it down, grab your tape measure, and you can go through and like I said, mark them all. So you can go 15, 30, so on and so forth. I'm gonna do this first one, show you what it looks like. Fifteen and a half inches. have a circular saw that turns better. <laughs> awesome. Um, anyways, there's that. So I'm just hitting this, uh, so 15 and a half was the long point, and then I'm gonna cut back from there. If you have a file, have a little half round, um, 
or whatever file or sandpaper um, and you want to clean these little bits up um, you can do that I'm not stressing too much about it I'm just kind of blow it out and kind of get it with your hands uh, but that's what you're looking for and that's gonna go right in the front um, once we get our fabric in so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them and then we'll come back and get the next step done. Okay, so once you get all your pieces cut, um, the reason I cut them at this length, um, I already told you about the uh, angle there, hopefully that makes sense. Um, but the reason I did them at this length was so that once the season's over, um, or if something's going on with the plant and I have to remove it, but I just wanna move these things easily, um, I wanted the uh, handle to be able to actually get to the top here and be able to use the handle like a handle. And if this tube is too long, um, it will, um, it'll kind of smack into your handle like that. So the first one I made, I left it too long thinking, oh yeah, I'll leave plenty of space. And then I thought about that. So I cut them down a little bit um, and I can always use a funnel or like I said, get something to actually fit in there um, to fill it up. You having fun Atticus? Yeah. <laughs> Just playing in the soil. Um, so I'll get those in there and then we'll move on to the next, uh, next step, which is going to be cutting your squares for the, uh, landscape fabric. So let me get that set up. Okay. So for this step, we're going to be cutting the landscape fabric. Um, for the first one, I didn't really have measurements. I kind of just used this table. Um, and it kind of worked out for these five gallon buckets. So um the roll of <clears throat> landscape fabric that i have has a width of three feet i think it was 100 feet in length or 200 feet in length something like that when i got it um this table that i'm using is about 30 inches by 35 for half of it um and that's kind of where I cut it. So all I did was I took this roll, kind of, no, I went this way. <clears throat> Set it up at the top there, match the edge, pull it down here. Now this, if you've got two people, this is definitely a lot easier with two people. But you don't need two people, especially if it's a little windy. Um, but once you get cutting, you can just follow, there's little itty bitty holes on here that allow, obviously, water and stuff to get through, um, you can just follow that line and you don't really need to have it on the table anymore once you get started. Easy as that. So obviously, if you have a bunch of barrels, just keep cutting, keep cutting. Um, and this works for me. There might be a better method, um, but like I said, this ends up, for one bucket, ends up being about 36 inches by... By about 30 so and like I said I just that's the table I had and that worked so that's what I'm going with using that as a template so I'm not really using the tape measure on everyone uh, once you get this thing cut we're gonna get it in the bucket um, so make sure that your fill tube is sitting vertically where you want it and then you're gonna kind of just center this little guy on the top you're gonna push in uh, Push in the center there. Um, and then once you're ready to fill, you'll probably you'll probably do this when you're ready to fill it with soil. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of these, so I'm not gonna fill it with soil just yet. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, but that's pretty much it. You kind of drop this down in there, you fill it up with soil, you trim the excess, and you're pretty much good to go. Um, so anyways, that's one. I'm just gonna leave that in the bucket for now. Um, I'm gonna cut the other ones and then uh, We'll place the fabric, we'll fill it, and then uh, that'll be pretty much it. So, all right. Okay, so we've got seven buckets 
ready to be filled with soil. Uh, so we're gonna place the fabric, uh, we're gonna fill it with soil, and, and that's gonna be it until you're ready to plant. Um, well, you can fertilize and do all that stuff, however you, you know, it's up to you at that point. Um, but anyways, I got them ready. Like I said, I got the hole, drain hole, perforated tubing, fill, and your landscape fabric cut. So we got seven of them ready. We're gonna go ahead with this one. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that and uh, with the help of the family. Um, and then we'll get the rest done and then we'll have, like I said, I'll have 15 total and we'll have, uh, we got a bunch of tomatoes and peppers we're gonna transplant hopefully today. Um, so here we go.